So the first step in creating an extension for the LTX laser tagger is to buy one of these, an extension rail off of Amazon. Get yourself a stockade Nerf gun. Take a razor blade and thin out the top of these. I have the first one measured along here so that there's the dip in there. And then the other ones are pretty smooth along here. Then the next step is going to be using a fast grab premium. It uh, creates a plastic compound and what I'm going to use is a cardboard. Take this, have it on here, fit that onto there, and then use the cardboard to make my shape here that's going to attach onto the bottom of it. And uh, what I'm going to do is have it so that it reaches up around the sides of this so it can slide off. And uh, then fill in here with saran wrap so that it won't stick to the plastic. It will just stick to the saran wrap and fill in this little area. And that will be what I'll be doing next. Okay, so I've coated this with duct tape, right? And then I have it taped there, comes down this way, comes over, and then comes there. When I put the goop on it, the water will dissolve the paper, and then I will have this shape. Okay, so I'm using a piece of cardboard and putting it along the sides. I have the inside of it filled in with uh, scotch tape. And I'm going to put in the other side over there, and then I'll just fill in. I have the space here so that they'll, I'll create a lip. Okay, so I have this all put in. Now I'm going to fill it in. Okay, so the last time I talked to you guys, what we had done was put cardboard along the sides of this and let it dry for 12 hours. What happens is that the, the outside of it hardens and it, it's uh, accelerated by using uh, water, which also helped on peeling off the cardboard. So set it in there, peeled off the cardboard, and then I took a, uh, a black marker and went along here. The, uh, the top parts uh, have kind of a uh, matte finish to them. And that's because I didn't like try to scrub off the, uh, the cardboard. So there's kind of a papery substance there. Then I took a X-Acto knife and you can cut through the plastic in thin layers along here. And uh, then the other thing that I found is that scotch tape it doesn't work for making it so that you could disassemble this part here and uh, it's pretty glued in there which is good because then you don't have any type of flex issues uh, what I did have to do is take and uh, use my exacto knife along here just cut out the little square shape and then um, using a, a, a pencil or something like that you just pull out the area and smooth out this area here because uh, the, the kickback for the light will get stuck what also happened is that alright so 
This part here will stop right there and you just kind of pull up and slide it so it's flush. I also had to use my, uh, my other favorite glue uh, besides liquid nails is a uh, shoe goo found usually at Walmart in the shoe section and I used that to put right along here so that it had a nice tight fit. Then I used my razor blade to you know make it so it could detach again. So what I have here is a UTG 38 millimeter red dot green dot sight and uh, then I have my UTG rail I have my stockade stock and uh, if I turn this on so there's the green dot sight and there is the red dot sight and this sight like this you rest your, your face right there and you can look right down the side What's good about it is that when you move your head back and forth, the uh, the dot moves. Unlike uh, some of the other red dot sights that will always stay in the middle. So that you can make sure that your aim is on. Um, it has uh, only one magnification, so therefore you could run around with both eyes open and uh, still be able to, to see what's going on with the scope. I took, I had two of these. The second one, I took and used shoe goo and glued right along here and then I got a generic side mount pinnacle rail flashlight holder from Amazon as well as my uh, Cree Ultra Fire fake flashlight attached them onto here. So with the Cree it takes one AA battery can go from a small focused lens to a wide one so that you can shoot like way across the street see uh, hiding behind a car or something like that what's also nice um, on Amazon there's reviews that uh, that you'll get a mix between the on off version and the three settings version so that's why I got this one off of eBay but if you press halfway it will go to strobe, full, and a dim light so that you could run around. If somebody is hiding behind a car, you could put it on strobe light and then focus it, you know, so you could blind them so they can't get you. What I had to do with that is since this part up at the very tip is the one inch diameter and the rest of it tapers down and has the, the, the grip right there is just have it so it holds that part there so it's kind of inset but it doesn't really affect anything with the, uh, the weaver rail being right up there so this is how you make yourself a stock attachment as seen from here the uh, using the stockade stock uh, I feel is better than using I believe that this one's the retaliator which is a good inch shorter so that's my do it yourself and uh, make yourself an, an awesome uh, LTX like bazooka fides uh, $11 for the top like six bucks for the uh, epoxy. I think it was 20 bucks for this at the stockade. And then uh, this scope here is uh, about 40 bucks on Amazon. So you could customize your own thing by following the instructions that I left with the video. And then uh, you too can have a one of a kind LTX.